is Alan Kardec's spiritism work not only be believed, felt, proclaimed and manifested in our convictions, but also be sufficiently lived, suffered, wept over and put into practice in our own everyday lives. Welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting from all over Mother Earth on this Casa Day, the first of the month. Hard to believe we're over halfway through this year already. As we are basking in this high vibration of our spiritual home, the portal of the Casa de Don Ignacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love, here in Abidjania in the heart of Brazil. And the current is flowing so fluidly, freely and easily from the portal, which is multiplying, amplifying, expanding every day. It's astonishing the energy that we are receiving, very pure high vibration into our hearts right across the world in this very moment. And we have another spectacular day here, clear blue skies, the colour of the casa deep, deep blue, the colour of the mantle of our Divine Mother Mary, her love and protection. And there's not a cloud in the sky, but there are hummingbirds and butterflies everywhere. As far as the eye can see, reminding us of our transformation and that all things pass, all things are impermanent and we are just travellers here on earth. So wherever you are in the world, relax. If you're lying down, great. If you're under a crystal bed, super. And if you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current, feed firmly on the ground to ground us. Don't cross your body in any way. Be open to give and receive. And allow this miraculous high vibration to flow through all of our chakras, pouring forth from the center of our being, our hearts connecting us one family right across the globe in this sacred moment. And put a glass of water beside you. This is blessed and we drink it at the end of the work to nourish us mind, body and spirit. And as we close our physical eyes, which is totally necessary for this deep divine connection, the best sight is insight. We open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances, all there is. We're reminded again and again that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We're not the body, we're much more than we could possibly imagine. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. And we have an infinite amount of help available to us from beyond the veil, if only we would realize it as we reach out to these extraordinary entities of light and love and ask with a contrite heart. And we receive everything we need and more for the journey. And these entities know no borders, no boundaries, no time or space. God is everywhere at once. Bidden or not, God is always present. And today we go on a voyage of discovery with our beautiful brother, Dr. Baziri Dimenezes. Sometimes a almost, dare I say, forgotten entity of the Casa. I remember the first time I saw a picture of him on the wall. I thought he looked a bit like Santa Claus. And it's amazing how beautiful Dr. Baziri de Menezes is. He was born in 1831 here in Brazil and he passed on in 1900, which really is not that long ago, the blink of an eye in the spirit world. And he was a very respected doctor and surgeon. And he took great pride in his role as a doctor. And he took his ethical responsibilities very seriously indeed. He treated many poor people and he had no set fee for his services and he never turned anyone away. He was renowned for his charitable works and he was often called the doctor of the poor. And he himself, although very accomplished, 
in politics and as a doctor. He died impoverished in the 1900. And he himself during his life had to endure periods of material poverty. And he was the author of many spiritual books. He was a journalist, politician, monk, teacher, businessman, and a great proponent of Brazilian spiritism. He is known as the Brazilian Allan Kardec. He did receive a Catholic baptism, but later in life he converted to spiritism after reading the Spirits book by Allan Kardec himself. And he was the president of the Brazilian Spiritist Federation. And he's very, very important in the founding of the Casa. It was through another extraordinary entity, Chico Xavier, who Baziri de Menezes used and channeled this message, instructing Medium Joao to build a casa here on the sacred ground of Abijania in 1978. And I quote, Dear Joao, esteemed friend, Abijania is the blessed site of your illuminated mission and of your peace. And it's interesting to note that this is almost like a double incorporation. Chico Xavier, known as the godfather of spiritism in Brazil, he psychographed over 400 books from the spirit world. The most important one we would recognize would be Nosilar, our home, an account of what happens after we leave our physical bodies behind on earth. And Chico too, dedicated his life to helping the poor and he also died a pauper because he made a lot of money on these psychographed books and like Baziri de Menezes, he dedicated his life and his earnings to alleviating the suffering of the poor. So we are in great hands with this amazing entity of the Casa, who basically propounds the spiritist agenda of do no harm, do the best you can, and that we move in and out of perishable bodies. And that life is very short, and we need to really realize that we are eternal spirits on the path. The body is just a vehicle of clay that has been lent to us by Mother Nature. So let's do the best we can while we're here on Earth. And every so often we need to just wake up and realize we are actually alive and our bodies can be used to do good and to help alleviate suffering of others. And as you give, so it will be given you. So we turn now to our brother Jesus, Prince of Peace. And the Spiritists really followed the teachings of Jesus. Alan Kardec wrote the Gospel according to Spiritism, which is a very modern version of the actual Bible, which can be sometimes difficult to navigate. And it really puts into layman's terms, what are the teachings of the Christ consciousness? And Jesus reminds us that when two or more are called in his name, he will be present as we trust the promises of the Christ consciousness. May Christ return to earth and be reborn in every heart and soul. And as we navigate these challenging times now, may we try to see with the eyes of Christ as best we can. Never see a need without doing something about it, particularly the poor. And there's so many people impoverished now after the last couple of years of this um, very big lesson we are learning on earth. And the teachings of Jesus are love thy neighbor as thyself and forgive thyself. 
and to your brothers and sisters. And always, before we pray, we need to forgive, to let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us. So let us pray. The Lord's Prayer, given to us by our brother Jesus, and translated from its original Aramaic, the language of Jesus and Mary. O birther, father, mother of the cosmos, you create all that moves in light. Focus your light within us and make it useful. As rays of a beacon show the way, create your reign of unity now. To our fiery hearts and willing hands, your one desire then acts with ours. As in all light, so in all forms. Grant what we need each day in bread and insight. Subsistence for the call of growing life. Loosen the cords of errors binding us as we release the strand we hold of others' guilt. Do not let surface things delude us. Liberate us from what holds us back from our true purpose. From you is born all ruling will, the power and the life to be. The song that beautifies everything as it renews from age to age. Truly power to these words. May they be with source from which all of our actions grow, sealed in trust, hope, love, faith and forgiveness. Amen. And we turn now to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace. We ask her in this sacred moment to intercede for us, her children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these challenging times on Earth now, as we go within on this necessary journey of the heart to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the compassion, the love, the forgiveness, the patience, the abundance, the joy, the gratitude deep, deep within us, and it is within all of us. We are divine beings, helping us all carry it and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Our mother, who is the void that creates all matter. Let we be one. Let we be one. Let we be one. Nourish us every moment to the power of now. Help us to elevate our often wounded and fearful hearts to the purity of love and compassion. Shield us always, enfolding us in your starry night sky. And deliver us from judgment and separation. And so be it. Amen.
more things change, the more they remain the same. And the world of Dr. Vaziri de Menezes at the end of the 1800s in Brazil, nothing much has really changed on earth. In fact, it seems to have gotten worse. There's much more rich people, billionaires, and much more people in poverty. And as Mother Teresa reminds us, we think sometimes that poverty is only being hungry, naked and homeless. The poverty of being unwanted, unloved, and uncared for is the greatest poverty of all. We must start in our own homes to remedy this kind of poverty. And as we get to know our beautiful Dr. Vaziri de Menezes, this wonderful entity of the Casa, the doctor of the poor. He used to drop everything. It didn't matter how much money people had. His office was always full of people who could not pay for his services. And he stayed there until everyone was seen. And these are his words, and I quote, a doctor is not entitled to finish a meal, nor to ask if it is far or near when an afflicted person knocks on the door. Those who do not help because they are entertaining guests or worked long hours and are tired or because it is too late at night and bad weather, because it is far or on top of a hill, or above all, those who have not even resources to pay. Or to say to those that are crying at their door to seek for another doctor. Those are not doctors, but rather medicine doctors who work for the income and to pay off their college debts. Let us pray to this most humble teacher, teaching us to love our neighbour as ourselves and everyone who comes into our lives in need is Jesus himself. We plead with you, Father of infinite goodness and justice, for the graces of Jesus Christ, through Dr. Baziri de Menezes and his legions of companions. May they assist us, Lord, consoling the afflicted, healing those who deserve it, comforting those who have trials and expiations to go through, enlightening those who desire to know the truth, and helping all those who appeal to your infinite love. Jesus, divine bearer of grace and of truth, extend your gifted hands in succor of those who acknowledge you as a faithful and prudent provider. Do this, divine model, through your consoling legions, your Holy Spirits, so that faith is elevated hope increased, goodness expanded, and love may triumph over all things. Dr. Baziri de Menezes, apostle of good and of peace, friend of the humble and the sick, move your friendly phalanges in benefit of those who suffer physical or spiritual ailments. 
holy spirits, worthy workers of the Lord, spread graces and healings over suffering humanity so that all creatures may become friends of peace and of knowledge, of harmony and of forgiveness, sowing the divine examples of Jesus Christ throughout the world. And so be it. Amen.
We are all going in the same direction. Some of us are going faster than others. And you go out the same way you came in, as my sister often reminds me. And there's one thing for certain is that we're going to lose our physical bodies and if it's anything that the entities teach us many of them have told us they have been reincarnated so many times before in different bodies right down through the ages just like us whether we remember it or not the dead are not dead and we have these extraordinary entities to remind us of this. Dr. Naziri Dimenezes in his spiritism work, he spread the good news that death does not exist. It is a transition from the material world into the spirit world. There's a lovely Irish saying, there's no pocket in a shroud. You can bring nothing with you into the heavenly kingdom. And as we are reminded 
of this that the dead walk with us or we call them dead their physical body is no more but they're very much alive in the spirit world waiting for us beyond the veil And we have time now to get our lives into perspective. To really see the bigger picture beyond appearances. To realize that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And wherever we can, we need to alleviate the suffering of the poor materially and in spirit. And this is a beautiful reminder today as we work with this phenomenally high vibration of the Doctor of the Poor, Dr. Baziri de Menezes. I am a spirit. I have a soul and I live in a physical body. My spirit is the candle of the Lord. God, my father, mother, is guiding me into all the truth through my spirit. I am a child of God, born of the divine essence of God, filled with the spirit of God and led by the spirit of God. I listen to my heart of love as I look to my spirit to guide me. The Holy Spirit gives direction to my spirit, an illumination to my mind. She leads me in the way I should go in all the affairs of life. She leads me by an inward light. The inner eyes of my understanding are being enlightened. The wisdom of God fills me. I am becoming spirit conscious. I listen to the voice of my spirit and follow my being and the energy of the divine spirit. I trust in the Lord with all my heart and do not lean on my human understanding. In all my ways I acknowledge God and God directs my paths. I walk in the light of God's peace. I will continue to train and develop my human spirit. I meditate upon God's love day and night. Therefore, I shall make my way prosperous and I will have good success in life. My spirit and consciousness expand continually. Thanks be unto my heavenly father, mother, who always causes me to be more than a conqueror. And so be it. Amen.
And as we bask in this gorgeous high vibration of our brother, Dr. Pesiri de Menezes, this amazing entity of the Casa responsible for placing the Casa here on the sacred ground of Abhijanya. As he nourishes us, mind, body and spirit. Let us be open to receive now after giving up our positive loving energies, relaxing into our physical bodies, keeping our eyes closed to the end of the work. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa, the waterfall of Lazarus, where we are reborn, renewed, refreshed, recalibrated, always. Or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature, big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise helping us as they serenade us in a divine symphony. Reminding us that birds don't sing for applause, they sing because they have a song. Carpets of magnificent, colourful, fragrant roses being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is a time of true forgiveness, of surrendering anything, everything that's stopping us, blocking us from becoming the beautiful light beings that we truly are. As we surrender anything, everything, that is really standing in our way. We have come through lifetimes to this very moment. Forgiveness is unlocking the door to set someone free and realizing we were the prisoner all along. And let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling. And there's so many of our brothers and sisters feeling suicidal, depressed, desolate, abandoned, unloved, unwanted, frustrated, angry, homeless. The children of the world, they're innocent, they don't need to suffer. Our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps for all children of God, no exceptions. They need to be liberated now. Anyone who is at the mercy of extreme weather, God is merciful and will hear our prayers. And let's just take this moment now and plant this seed of peace in our hearts, the peace of God beyond all understanding. Allowing it to grow and multiply, expand, bringing it to all war zones, anywhere there is suffering, hunger, poverty, valley description. And let's bring it into the Ukraine right now and into the minds of the warmongers, helping them to wake up to our divine essence. We're all in this together, children of God. And let's bring medium to around to this high vibration and anyone who has struggled or is suffering on account of the problems of the casa. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light, extending this beautiful cleansing healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed, whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this miraculous high vibration pouring from the portal of the Kashuera, into our crown chakras, really feel these crystal clear waters penetrating deep, deep into our souls, taking away all miasmas, all discomfort, dis-ease, disharmony in all of our bodies, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual. Liberating ourselves. Surrendering anything, everything that no longer serves us to these miraculous waters. into and over the rainbow of light. Emerging, cleansed, healed, renewed, refreshed, reborn into the core of our being, our very essence, pure love light. 
the light of God. Standing, smiling, sparkling, happy in the beautiful sunshine with our family and friends and new friends, no more grudges. Everyone in unity. As we continue, always, tirelessly, trustingly, faithfully, without ceasing to work our way out of separation into oneness. One heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family, one nation under God. May peace prevail on earth and in all hearts and souls now and forevermore. Amen.
We rejoice and bask in this miraculous cleansing healing energy pouring from the portal of the casa through the cashmere of Lazarus into our open hearts cleansing healing nourishing us we are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to come together this wonderful collective consciousness now in our third year on live current online hard to imagine this beautiful casa family under the banner of the casa de dominacio the house of love where the medicine is love as we learn to live by faith and not by sight to realize that all is in divine order we're exactly where we're meant to be right here right now at this moment in time in these human bodies and life is also short, the blink of an eye, really. So let's do the best we can, do no harm, and try to alleviate suffering as best we can. And thank you, God, for sending all of your messengers of love, so many angels, archangels, guardian angels, ascended masters, unseen beings, elevated spirits, and these phenomenal entities of light and love. So many working with Christ consciousness, which is all about love thy neighbor as thyself, Forgive thyself and others. And they too had bodies once or twice. They know all about the human condition. They know all about us and they see our suffering and they know exactly what we need. And today as we celebrate this extraordinary entity of the casa, very important, the doctor of the poor, Dr. Baziri de Menezes, who instructed through Chico Xavier, the godfather of spiritism, all working with us from beyond the veil to place the casa here on this sacred ground of Abhijania, making sure there was a waterfall there. There's no coincidences, no accidents. He is with us every step of this journey, reminding us that we're not the body. We're much more than we could ever imagine. We are eternal spirits on the path. And thank you, God, for sending our brother Jesus Prince of Peace, the light of the world, and our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, who encourages us right down through the centuries to pray for peace in our hearts and peace on earth. Their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears, helping us to wake up to our divine essence, to realize that we are spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. And these lessons that we're learning here now on earth in the school of life are not easy and we have so much help available to us from beyond the veil and a lesson will be repeated until it's learned and we are equipped with everything we need and more for this journey god gives us the back to bear the burden and when the lessons are learned and our earthly life is over, we will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields with all of these holy beings, where there's no more pain and no more suffering. How great is that? And to all of you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path, for time and time again, taking this solemn hour or so to come together in brotherhood and sisterhood to multiply our love light on earth. As we raise our vibration here and now, we raise the vibration of the entire planet. Be the change you need to see in the world. Thank you for your dedication, your commitment, your courage, and it takes guts to walk the path of the light, for your faith, your hope, your patience, your humility, your true grit, your love and your light to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God, written on the walls of the entity's room in English and in Portuguese. As a reminder, the motto of the Jesuits, how to navigate these challenging times now on earth. 
God is on the journey too. All roads lead to God. Faith moves mountains. Your faith is healing you, your family, your friends, all of those around you and Mother Earth. We were born for these times. We are the ones we have been waiting for. Rise up, warriors of the light, soldiers of the Christ consciousness. We've nothing to lose but our chains. Jesus reminds us, if we knew how much we were loved, we wouldn't be sleeping. Nothing can harm a hair on our head. Never see a need without doing something about it. Help each other. We're all in this together. Children of God, brothers and sisters in the light. We rise by lifting others. Stay elevated. We're just walking each other home. You're doing a beautiful job. Thank you. Let us pray with open hearts, without ceasing, joyfully, happily, trustingly, knowing that our prayers have been answered always and in all ways. As we surrender to the will of God, thy will be done, not my will. In the spirit of our brother, the Ziri de Menezes, apostle of good, the doctor of the poor, materially and in spirit. Let us pray. O oh, Father, Mother, God, sacred trinity of innumerable names. May our hearts always be the temple of the Holy Spirit. May Jesus always be the helmsman of our little spiritual ships. May Mary be the star which shines on our paths. And may she show us the safe way to reach the Heavenly Father. And so be it. Amen. Love, loving, love. Namaste.
Easy. 